and welcome to our lesson on constant angle loci. In this lesson, we'll be discussing how to use angle properties of a circle to draw a constant angle locus. Specifically, we'll be solving an example problem using only a ruler and a pair of compasses. First, let's review some key angle properties of a circle that we'll be using in this problem. Angle subtended by the same chord at the circumference in the same segment are equal. Angle subtended by the same chord at the center is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. The angle subtended by the diameter on the circumference is always 90. As you move from the circumference towards the center, the angle becomes greater than 90. As you move from the circumference away from the center, the angle becomes less than 90. Example, using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, draw a line AB which is equal to 7 centimeters. Draw a locus of point P which such that angle APB is 60 degrees. Mark all possible locations of P such that the area of APB is always 14 square centimeter. Using a ruler, Draw a line AB which is 7 cm long. This will serve as the base of our triangle. Uh, we have drawn the line AB which is 7 cm long. The line AB will serve as the base of our triangle. To find the base of an isosceles triangle at the center of the circle, we know that the angle subtended by the same chord at the circumference in the same segment are equal. And we are given that the angle APB is 60 degrees. Using the angle properties of a circle, we know that the angle subtended by the same chord at the, at the center is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. Therefore, the angle at the center is 2 times 60 degrees, which is equal to 120 degrees. Since we have an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. We can use the formula for the sum of angles in a triangle to find each base angle. The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So we can subtract the angle at the center, which is 120 degrees, from 180 degrees and divide by 2 to find the base of each angle. It is 180 minus... 120 which is equal to 60 degrees divided by 2 which is equal to 30 degrees therefore each base angle of the isosceles triangle at the center of the circle is 30 degrees draw a line the line should be 7 centimeters so we mark in your compass draw an arc from point a such that it intersects the line AB. Without changing the compass radius, draw another arc from point A such that it intersects the previous arc. You should now have two intersection points. Connect point A to the closest point of intersection using a straight line. This forms a 60 degrees angle at point A. So we need to connect Repeat the same process to draw a 60 degree angle at point B. To bisect 60 degrees angle at point A, place the compass at the vertex of the same angle and draw an arc that intersects both sides of the angle. So we go at point A here, mark an arc. Without changing the radius of the compass, Place the compass at the tip of one of the intersection points and draw another arc that intersects the previous arc. So we go to this way, we mark an arc, draw a straight line through the vertex of the angle and the point of intersection. This line bisects the 60 degrees angle at point A and forms 30 degrees. Repeat the same process to bisect 60 degrees angle at point B and get 30 degrees. The two angle bisectors intersect at point O, which will be the center of the circle. 
draw a circle using the radius of uh, the point of intersection O of the two bisectors and one of the points on the line, either A or B, as the radius. So we measure this one, we make this one as the radius that way. Then we are supposed to draw a circle that way. Repeat the same process below line AB. So loka is a path traced by a point as it moves according to the stated law. So we have a path here from A all the way to B. If you are to trace a constant path in that direction, in this case we are learning a constant angle loka. Let's see, if you are to draw any angle using AB as the code, it will always obtain an angle of 60 at the circumference here. Like uh, I have three angles that I've drawn after drawing all that. If you were to measure this angle, you can bear me witness that uh, this angle here is 60 60 degrees so from 0 60 so the next angle which is also 60 and the third angle so even below below the line a b will always have that constant angle loci thank you for watching if you learned something from this video kindly remember to subscribe <music>